Hello and welcome to my channel. Sorry the background's a little different today, but that's because it's going to be kind of a different video. On this channel, I like to talk about what I'm watching, what I'm reading, and what I'm doing. But today what I'm doing is putting on makeup because I'm kind of rushed for content right now. I'm trying to cram in as many like holiday things to do before the actual holiday happens. Today we are going to go on a little family trip to McAdenville, McAdenville, Christmas Town, USA or something. If you see my dogs kind of wandering around in the background, that's why. That's also why my face kind of looks like this and I look a little dead because I don't have a face on yet. I figured I could just um, get ready for a second and I, uh, at the same time kind of talk about how Vlogmas is going. I'm trying to Playing around with my setup. Sorry, everything behind me is a mess. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know if this does anything. I just got it at TJ Maxx one time and I was like, I guess I'm just gonna use it. But the reason I keep using it is because it feels really luxurious. I feel refreshed. Today. That sounded like a lot. It's not. It's fine. Christmas time is just around the corner, which I can't believe it. Crazy. It just feels like December has like flown by and I've had a really hard time sticking to my little upload schedule I, I kind of carved out for myself. I've also seen girls kind of like set their face and then put the powder on and then spray again. So I guess I'll just do that. Again, just cause it feels good. I don't, this is probably literally just water, but it feels good. I tend to use pretty generic stuff for my face. I'm a drugstore makeup girly for sure. I usually just use this as my foundation. And I just use my fingers to kind of massage it into my skin. Just adding in a little bit of sunscreen to just make sure my face is protected from the elements. So I don't even know how girls talk and do this at the same time. I'm like fucking struggling right now. Let's see, this is week three of Vlogmas. Something that I learned through this process so far. I think I might do a little more to my neck. Hi, buddy. I use like just a skin, like a skin colored concealer under my eyes just so that... I look awake. Anyway, the upload schedule has been really hard for me to maintain. I've made peace with it for the most part. I still I still beat myself up about it from time to time. But it seems like doing like a three video a week thing feels like the most doable, which I'm okay with. Three videos is better than no videos, right? Like I, I started doing this and hadn't ever done it before and was able to just kind of churn out I've lost track of how many videos are on my channel now, but I've been able to churn out quite a few in a short period of time. I think that that is still something to be proud of. I think that I have kind of stuck with listicles because it feels like a safe way to do video content without having too much of a clear stance on something. This is like a concealer that feels like it's very no joke. It's very serious, but also I feel like it's like a really yellowy shade on me. I kind of try to like not use a lot because I don't want to necessarily like, I don't want it to like stand out too hard. I'm just kind of using it to sort of define my brow bone and stuff. And I use it a lot, like the liquid concealer, I use a lot more to be, act as a base for my eyeshadow. Let me blend this while trying to talk. God, this is hard. Oh my God. Hold on. Hey, Bentley, darling. Bentley, please don't lick your balls. Thank you. He doesn't have any. I want to try to do a video that is actually like telling, giving a, an opinion about a movie or a show that is a little bit more in depth instead of trying to do an overview of a couple things. I kind of want to like challenge myself to take on one movie or one show and just talk about just that and be okay with like, maybe people not agreeing with me on stuff. I do struggle with, I feel like I struggle with coming off a little bit like a know-it-all or also coming off like, an asshole and also being afraid of people disagreeing with me and it's another reason I'm doing this vlogging thing in general is to kind of address that and be okay with like, people not agreeing with me sometimes. The next couple of videos that I wrote are more about problematic mm, holiday movies or I guess I should say movies that I really like that I feel like a lot of people are considering problematic now and dissecting the criticisms of that. I'm gonna use bronzer to make it look like I have bone structure. I don't really know if that's really that even. I think I just did it crooked, but here we go. I'm just doing it because other beauty influencers told me to. I'm using eyeshadow brushes as like bronzer applicators. Look, I have a jawline sometimes. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Bentley, I love you. Dun, dilly. 
has such a flat ass. Could you imagine? Tiny. Anyways, with movies and with art in general, I feel like it's just kind of doing everybody a disservice to just have a very clear, I don't like this or this is trash, period. Because art is subjective. Sir, sir, yes. Sorry, yes. Hi. He just really wants, he really wants his own channel. I think that's what's going on. Anyways, I think that I want to try to continue to give things the benefit of the doubt, but I also just want to be clear on my stance on stuff. Also, after next week, that's kind of the end of Vlogmas for me. I guess another thing that would be interesting to think about is like what I'm trying to do next. And I don't know, if I'm being entirely honest, I haven't really thought that far ahead. If I'm trying to give myself a second to catch my breath, I always feel a little bit like just using air spun on my face is gonna kind of wash me out if I don't balance it out with like a loose powder that's kind of my skin tone. I'm kind of just doing a little bit of that. Don't mind me. Anyway, I don't really know what I'm, my plans are next year for this channel, but my favorite thing about things on the internet is that they are fluid, so they can change. I, maybe over time I might evolve my content depending on what I feel like talking about. If I'm going to do this, I do want to do it consistently. I just need to know, I need to identify what it consistently means for me. I feel like I also should have probably talked about the, the things I'm putting on my face. Let's recap. I use this as like a base for my primer, a setting spray, and a general pick-me-up facial spray. It says it hydrates, it moisturizes, tones, and refreshes. Whatever the fuck that means. And then, what else? I use this primer, Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. And then for my actual foundation of sorts, I do a mix of Maybelline BB Cream and also Super Goop uh, Glow. Again, mostly a drugstore girly, but I've been using this Benefit Industrial Strength Concealer since high school. And I usually buy like one every six months or every year. I can make it last a really long time because it's really expensive. It's like $24 for like a tiny tub. But just a quick swipe of it, little goes a long way for me. I was for a while just strictly using this elf hydrating, oh my God, elf hydrating like camo concealer. But again, it felt like it was so full coverage and like so intense that I could like see it very much on my face. It didn't feel like it blended very well, even if I just used a little bit. I kind of use it in tandem with the Boing concealer. So I just use it like right in the corners here so it looks a little lighter and then right here and I use it to kind of define like my, my brow, my brow situation. And as far as blusher goes, I'm just gonna add more because I'm annoying. He likes my makeup brushes. No, no. For blush, I use, and I broke it because I'm, a mess. Uh, it's this like true match blush. Uh, I get it in the shade Subtle Sable, I think. Just, it gives like a warm pinky color to my face. Yes, I know. I'm having a time. I would try more like pinky shades that were like brighter, but it always felt like it just stood out too hard on my face. I think the more like darker-ish pinks are just nicer for me. What else? I use Essence Bronzing Powder to just carve out a little bit of definition here and there. It's really common for me to use this as like an eyeshadow and use my highlighter as my other eyeshadow because I normally am like a neutral girly with the makeup eyeshadow stuff. I use ColourPop. You can't really see it. And also I had to recently carve out all the bits of it and then like spray it back down with alcohol to like pat it down because like the powder was kind of running out sort of. Anyway, it kind of looks like that right now. I use the shade Wisp, like a goldy, a goldy color. I like goldy highlighter. I might actually add more because I'm an extra kind of lady. And anyway, that's what I have used on my face so far. Usually that's kind of what I'm using when I'm getting ready every day is it's just like all of the products I just listed. And then for eyeshadow, I usually will do highlighter for like lighter shade, bronzer for darker shade, and then I'm mascara eyeliner done but um again because today is it's a holiday time i'm gonna try to do something a little different so i am gonna use ColourPop. has like these little baby like palettes so i'm using like a pinky one just because i really like pinky shades but i also don't really know that this light pink is really as bright as i want it to be 
So I might use like a couple other shades from my Morphe palette real quick. If I can find a brighter pinky shade, that's what I'll be doing. You get to watch me struggle through eyeshadow. It's gonna be really fun. Hi, Betty. Bentley has joined us. Hey, Betty. What you doing? First, let me just carve out my eyes for the content. Thank you. I have to do this eye now. Oh. Well, that's not really that even, is it? Fuck. No. Come on. You can it. Hold on. We can fix it. We can fix it. Are you done? So, still a little higher than the other one, but that's fine. We'll just blend it out. It'll be fine. I feel like it's it's very much giving like, cut my wrists and black my eyes. But it's fine. We'll fix it. We'll get there. It'll happen. So something else that I'm kind of doing underneath my eyes lately has been a little bit of a, like just bring in the darker shade right here. Just so we have a little bit of like definition. I also typically just stick with like black or brown eyeliner just because I feel like it goes with everything. I like the idea of doing like more colored eyeliner, but I think it kind of makes my eyes look like they're a little bit more open, but also maybe that she's giving anime. That's great. Love that for me. Like I said before, I like to use this to carve out my eye stuff. So I use a very tiny brush and I kind of go like this. And I just kind of go like hee hee. And I just kind of do it in the inner corner because I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to add some shimmer here and then I'm going to blend in the darker shade underneath it later. I think I'm going to go with like a bright pink shade. I just need to find an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go really like light pink right in the inner corner situation. I'm going to kind of do this just because like again I'm trying to go like kind of subtle and I also like to add it really hard right here because I think it makes me look more awake. <laughs> Not really. Um, it's fine. That's, that's the look we're going for. And again, I think I just try to like blend this out a little bit more so that it looks a little bit more intentional and not like Bentley kind of fucked me up a little bit. <laughs> and so now to kind of like blend it a little bit more, I'll just add a lighter pinky shade right here just so that it kind of gives almost a gradient effect. But then I'm gonna layer that with a little bit more of the drama of that and then just kind of have that live there like that and then add a little bit more boop, 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 boop. just more shimmery shimmery shimmer to kind of blend it together so that it all kind of looks like a cute little bruise back i don't know i'm not sure that i'm loving it but i'm committed i'm already in it do we hate it a little bit i do I don't love it. I don't love it. But also, I'm gonna just put eyeliner over it anyway, so it's fine. Really, who cares? That's how I feel right now. Anyways, that's kind of the finished eyeshadow situation. I kind of want to do a little bit of a lip liner moment, but it's hard for me to do lip liner without overdoing it. I think it's because deep down, like, I just, I think you can tell, like, how quickly I went from, like, no makeup on to, like, too much makeup on. It's so easy for me. I think that this is just my final form. I'm always gonna be like a too much makeup girly person. This is just me, which is fine. And eventually I feel like it, I just get used to it and then I start to just feel even more naked when I try to do clean girl makeup. It's impossible for me. Watch me do too much lip liner real quick. It's too much, I know. Then what I do is I put on like a lip liner that looks a little too close to my skin color and I kind of just go over it. Oh no. And I kind of just go over it because I feel like it kind of looks more subtle this way. Is it giving Uncanny Valley? It kind of feels like it's giving Uncanny Valley a little bit. Like my mouth is real, but it's not. I feel like it's kind of giving like Soprano mob wife. Like, Christopher, Christopher, come here. Don't yell at me. Please don't yell at me. No. Oh my. He wants to know who I'm talking to. He's upset. I need to wrap this up. Last but not least, we've just got to do eyeliner and mascara. The ultimate question, black or brown eyeliner? I also forgot to tell you what I put on my lips. Hold on. I do NYX lip liners and lip gloss. So I did Free Spirit and Brooklyn Thorn. I just like the nude darker shades. So I just keep brown and like skin color lip liner on me all the time. I think today I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with brown eyeliner cause I think it looks more subtle. Bentley's here while I do lip, while I do eyeliner. Pray for me. Don't move me, oh God, he did, he moved me. My eyes are ruined. Please forgive. There, there we go. It's not as sharp a wing as I wanted, but it's fine. I need a moment. He 
He's moving me. I'm scared. Another reason I can't be a clean girl makeup person is I've been wearing eyeliner since I was like 12. So I don't know what I look like without it. To be honest, I don't like it. I think I look sick without it. I, I don't know where he's going. What are you doing? This crazy boy. Honey, I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh, my God. Stay right there, baby. Almost done, honey. No, but truly, I do think I just look tired without eyeliner on. Now I'm going to do mascara. So I usually will do Maybelline mascaras just because I feel like they're the most affordable. They last the longest for me, and I really like them. Buddy, I got to do mascara real quick. Can you just, just for a second. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. Neil. He's so pretty. Look at him go. Ready? One, two, three. Hi. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. And then I'm going to have to shoot one more video and then we're going to go look at Christmas lights. I got to hurry. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really bother curling my eyelashes because I don't really have long ones. They're very straight too. So it kind of just feels like pointless to curl them because I know that they're going to straighten out. So I just don't really bother with mascara. If I had longer eyelashes, I would care, but I don't. So... It's fine. I just look like this now. Anyway, what was I talking about before I started doing eye stuff? Again, I don't know if that does anything. As I put away my makeup, I figure I can actually like talk now because it was really hard to talk while I was like doing things. It was hard to talk about things that weren't on my face. This is week three of Vlogmas for me. Week three, I think I kind of just gave into and accepted that like trying to do a video a day with like my workload and all the other things going on in my life is just really not feasible or realistic. I've accepted that and so now I just am aiming to produce as many videos a week as I can, which I think is better than nothing. But overall, I do want to continue doing this and I would be curious to see what kind of content I could produce if I didn't rush myself. How good of a performance could I give? What I mean to say is that I'm really proud of myself for doing this Vlogmas thing and sticking it out and starting a YouTube channel because that was the hardest part for me. I think the next challenge is going to be giving myself an appropriate amount of time and grace to produce content I'm really proud of instead of just producing content. I wouldn't say that I'm like, the videos that I've made so far are gross and you shouldn't watch them because again, I am proud of myself because I did it. But I know that there's more to producing video content and I'm not trying to be a content farm. I'm just trying to be someone on the internet that can confidently write, produce, and upload a video talking about things that she thinks about. And I'm going to take some time to get there. I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. And uh, I'm thankful for anyone who's watching this that is curious about how to get started and what the pitfalls of it are. Because the reality of the situation is I'm really busy outside of YouTube and I'm still trying to make time to do this. No, don't jump on me. The reality of the situation is I'm proud of myself for getting, done, getting this started at all. I'm really excited to see where I will be this time next year, how many videos I will have produced and how far I will have gone on this journey of doing this. Um, this is my look. I haven't, I'm scared to take my hair out. I actually might go shoot one of the videos. Anyway, thanks for watching this. I know this was kind of chaotic, um, but I'll see you later.